busy, I'm busy. Being they were all so busy, the only way I can talk to these people is right here in this ice bath. Welcome to Coldest Balls. I don't know if I handle my son's first gay moment correctly. What you are doing, you are saying you have no problem with your son sucking dick and getting fucked in the ass. Keep in mind, I'm not homophobic. I have nothing against gay people. Be happy. Do what you want to do. With another man putting his dick in your son's mouth and ass? My son growing up and being gay. A grown man can put his dick in your mouth. A grown man can put his dick in your ass. ESPN undisputed. Schmidt! It's destiny, man. Ain't no escape. You can't do what I do. What you niggas want to do? I've been done. It. Your past accolades cannot ensure you future success. They saying this nigga's a puncher. We gonna punch. Where you think he got that from, man? Welcome to the new generation, and I'm at the forefront. I was up in the hotel. Long rounds for cousin. Big rounds, I'm stuffing. They stay ill in the lobby. I grab the nose running. I'm coming down with some. Oh my God. Like what you wanna go small room? Ain't a small room. We ain't been in, man. Me and Miles was small room. You rapping like he trapping. You six eight of this imagine. You sound like Tanak, and nigga, you're tough act. The fact is, you should waste my motherfucking time, nigga. You're cutting into your mother's fucking time, nigga. You don't come up and ground with us. I don't owe you no paper. You know me. Fuck is you. I'm doing the favor. I promise you, this shit gonna be blockbuster. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Take some time to yourself, man. Yeah, you sit back. You feel like well, you be the best advantage. As far as I'm concerned, man, we can do this shit anywhere, man. It's already done. Big room, he dies. Small room, he dies. We bring burners through, a hundred shots. Get the whole scene served in groups. You should get me versus Mook. Cause if you can get rid of DNA, you could probably beat murder too. I spray him. Yeah. Last year you could have got eight. They told me wait. I said cool, let's know what's fine. Fuck the verb. I could have battled anybody in the headline. But you know when you know it's time. All these gun ball niggas on the card. But you go best smack still call Lux to fully know this nine. And I'm a... Claim from Battle Truth's entire fucking family down to the only son that had love from him left is that Battle Truth has sex with his own daughter and having sex with his own daughter, he got his daughter pregnant. That 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 is what, what, what took place. Now it's very important that we understand Battle Truth's lie. Correct me if I'm wrong on any part. We need to understand Battle Truth's story before I play this. Battle true story is he met a stripper. Strippers have fake names. When he found out the stripper's real name, hold on, let me, let me, hold on, for people who don't know, let me say battle true name, let me say his daughter name. Oh, now I'm gonna get all this shit in order so when I drop this motherfucking evidence, it ain't gonna be no way he can run from this. Um what about ba, 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 uh, uh, Gerald Baker, Gerald Baker. This is Battle Truth's first name right here. I'm typing in the chat for my people who ain't into the storyline and don't know what's going on. Gerald Baker, the girl who's supposed to be his daughter name is Jerrica Baker. Her mother named her directly after Battle Truth because they're saying this is Battle Truth's daughter. 
but we got to say battle truths a lot. You can watch me say what I want uh, tell my story. You can ask, you can type whatever the fuck you want to. I'll decide if I want to pay attention to it, roast you, make you look stupid or intelligently answer. All right. So here's battle truth lie. Battle truth lie is he met this stripper. Once he got the stripper's real name, he realized that's the Jerrica Baker 24 years ago when this little, that stripper was born. Her mother, he had sex with her mom and her mom tried to say it was his, but it was not his. So in Battle Truth Mind, he met a stranger. He never knew her, he said out of his own mouth. He never been in her life. He just saw a grown woman stripper. But from seeing this grown woman stripper, he knew from that name that people may have an issue. So because of that, he bought a DNA test. That's his story. So we must understand line is he has never seen this girl he has never talked to this girl until he met her stripping a year ago that's his story line now what wave gang has uncovered before i drop this shit on y'all ej uncovered now the jerica girl has a son a four-year-old son by the name of micah you can look this shit up. It is 100% confirmed. She has a son by the name of Micah. He's four years old. EJ was able to play footage of Battle Truth going live on his channel, talking about his two-year-old grandson by the name of Micah two years ago. And you, <laughs> this, is, this is the coincidence Battle Truth wants y'all to believe. He has never in his fucking life ever heard of no fucking girl or raised a girl or been around a girl by the name of Jerrica Baker. He fucked her mom. Her mom thought the baby was his and tried to give it his name to put it on him. But he said, fuck you and left the life. He don't know nothing about her. But all of a sudden, there's video evidence of him sitting there and you can hear Jerrica in the background. Jerrica in the background. And he's talking about Jerrica. He's saying, this is my daughter and she had my two-year-old grandson. And he's saying how his daughter, Jerrica, was lying to him about having sex and stuff. And, and he was laughing, joking like a father, like, you know, you've been having sex because you, how the hell you got a two year old baby. So EJ uncovered that to me, that's the killer thing. And that should put Barry, that should put battle truth under the ground, but we still have sick weirdos like Adep and his buddies that'll do anything to not try to bring this shit up. That now you go to EJ channel and uh, EJ will be here. We'll put his link up and you can hear that evidence. So I want y'all to follow the story. Here's the timeline. There's a little grandson by the name of Micah. Now, if y'all got confused because Chris, Chris got confused today. She's pregnant today, right? And they're saying that the baby inside of her stomach now is her father's battle truth, right? So there's a, but there's a, she already has a son. She has a son named Micah. He's four years old. Two years ago, Battle Truth had a, a girl that he said was his daughter on his stream, and she had a two-year-old son by the name of Micah. Two and two is four. That means two years ago, that baby would be four now. Type of one if we are clear, because if we are clear, I'm ready to, to play the evidence. Are we clear on Battle Truth lie of what he's saying? He don't know this girl. I just want to make sure we, we crystal clear, because ain't no way he's going to be able to get out of this shit yet. Are we crystal clear? Type of one if we are. If not, ask me any questions. Are we are we crystal clear? Okay. All right, let me bury this dumb fuck. Share screen. Share Chrome tab. We're gonna go to my Google inbox. J Ryan's 13. Boom. You guys should be able to see my Google inbox right here. Now, you guys see that, right? This is Battle Truth. This is a screenshot of Battle Truth's Instagram, and that is Jerrica's hand on his Instagram. Jerrica hand is holding up her baby. Now, this is Battle Truth Instagram, December the 7th of 2017. This is four years ago. So, wow. So, this is Jerrica's uh, ultrasound of her son, Micah. And Battle Truth comment on his channel, he posted this and says, about to be a granddad for the third time. Now, there are people in the audience right now. You got two questions. Let's get one of the questions out of the way before I drop the bombshell evidence. 
All right, we're going to stop sharing this screen right quick before I drop. There ain't no way he's going to get out of this right here. That's him proudly showing his daughter, Jerrica Baker, ultrasound of her son, Michael, four years ago. All right. Now, you may say, John, John, how do we know that that's Battle Truth's Instagram, John? How do we know that, John? You could be lying to us, John. Well, my fucking friends, this is all we know is his Instagram. We're going to share the screen again. Share screen. I have Battle Truth Instagram pulled up right here. We're going to share his Instagram. All right, look. You can see I can scroll up and down. You can see it right here. I can scratch it. This is real because I'm going to click on it and make something bigger. You can't screenshot this shit right here. We're going to go down to the post right here. See, Battle Truth for old last 50, almost 50 some year old man. He forget about all his social media accounts. All right, let's click on the photo. Boom. Um, I can't click on it and open it because I'm not signed in. Hold on. You guys going to do it yourself right now because right here, if I click on it, it's telling me to sign in. Um, but y'all, but, but look, you know it's real though. Look, you know it's real. I can't screenshot this shit right here. But look, here's the link. I'm going to put the link in the chat. Give y'all time to go away and click on the photo right now so he can't say that it ain't him. He can't say it ain't him. I'm going to give y'all time. Y'all go leave. Click on that. Click on December 17th. That's four years ago. That's his daughter pregnant with his motherfucking grandson. And then we're going to come back and I got one more piece of evidence to show y'all. Then I got some new shit to show y'all other people sent me. You see, a -Dub, this is how you cook a nigga. This is how you, this is why I'm undefeated. I don't catch no L's. This is why I'm undefeated. This is why I'm undefeated. I don't catch L's. You cannot, he, he fucked his own daughter, got his daughter pregnant now. All right, let me go back into my evidence bag. So we're going to share screen again. We're going to go back to my email. I sent the screenshots to myself. So we're going to go back to my email. Let me share that. All right, we're back in my email. That's the first picture right there. December the 7th of 2017. Battle Truth is proud. So let's follow, this. Let's follow it back in order from what EJ exposed to him. Four years ago, Battle Truth is proud that Jerrica Baker is having his grandson, Micah. Then EJ played a video of Battle Truth two years later where Michael was two years old and Battle Truth is talking about his two-year-old grandson. Remember, Battle Truth lie is he never met this girl. He don't know this girl. She was just some stripper. And he found out her real name was Jerrica Baker. Y'all yeah, think I'm, I don't know who be sitting all over here. Suck a dick remove just how we doing it baby you not nobody trolling me when i'm in my motherfucking bag i'm that nigga all right let me scroll up john how do we know that this is my uh jericho here we go right here here's a close-up and you guys can do it yourself look you got a close-up look at what i circled in the close-up is also look at this name right here last name baker then a comma jericho Bang the fucking gavel. Baker, comma, Jerrica. This is Jerrica Baker's ultrasound of her son, Micah, that Battle Truth has said he proud to be a granddad for the third fucking time. You out of here, my nigga. You are a sick fuck. You are a super sick fuck. Now I'm about to get mad. Now I'm about to get mad because I care about the kids. Now I'm about to get motherfucking mad when I show y'all this next screenshot. I'm about to fucking go the fuck off, yo. I'm about to go the fuck off, man. I'm about to go the fuck off. I got something else to show y'all, man. And this is me being a father coming in, man. Hold on, man. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a motherfucking second, man. This mother, when I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying y'all right, I'm finna warn y'all for what y'all about to see is y'all about to see why Jerrica was given to Battle Troop, why his daughter went to stay with him. And then if you a father, 
I need you to brace yourself because you you're about to get. Do not delete artificial. Block that motherfucker. Get him the fuck up out of here. We not no. Get your motherfucking singing ass up out of here. All right. Let me let me let me open. Let me stop sharing the screen right here. Let me open the other email. Now, this email I'm about to show you is only one of three. I was given three emails on EJ Live. I didn't even have this information 30 minutes ago. There are links. Uh, if you want the links, I'll send the link over there to you, but it goes to Battle Truth Facebook. The problem with Battle Truth is he old as hell. He don't know social media. That's why he never deleted that from his Instagram account, and now it got him busted. So... All these people are running around here going into all of his social media and he's so old, he ain't went to shut nothing down because he's slow in the fucking head. All right, so this Battle True, this 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 right here coming from Battle True uh, Facebook. Anybody don't believe me, I will put the link here. There are three shots, but I'm only going to use one because all I need is one. From what I just showed you, I only need one, but there's three of them. What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into it, man. I I, I got time today, and I figured, why not? Hell, why not? <laughs> Here's the only but goodie. Why not? Hell, that's what I'm known for. The ultimate kill shot. Okay. So these clowns always trying to play with y'all intelligence and manipulate and deceive things. They try to throw things out there like, oh, the little girl, the little girl, the little child. Then they try to go dig into the person's social media and find a baby picture of her and put it up to let y'all see this picture of me coming at a child. They don't be wanting y'all to see the real deal. So just like this clown trying to come out and say, the baby, the child, this child, they don't be wanting y'all to see the real deal. So this clown want to keep going live, trying to compute in y'all mind a child, an adolescent, an underage girl. What's crazy they all in her social media, but they don't want y'all to see the real deal, okay? So I'm gonna bring some of it to the light. I'm gonna let y'all see the real deal that they don't want y'all to see, but they wanna paint these narratives and pictures. So let me see. So let's go into these pictures. Let's go on to these pictures. Let me go on to these pictures. So, show y'all these pictures, these clowns. You don't want y'all to see none of. So, like I told y'all from the get go, you know. She's a professional dancer. She even admitted it herself, letting me you know that's what she do also. She's a professional dancer. You see the racks of money in her hand and things like that. And look at the caption she got down below. What it say? She say, in love with my stripping ass. Then you see the hashtags up there, exotic dancer, stripper life, you know. It's what she do to make her living and what she do. She's a dancer, right? Hold on. See, 
and we want to show y'all baby pictures and try to do that stuff to paint these narratives so to make y'all try to look different at a nigga. Like, get up out of here. See? See what I'm saying? They don't want y'all to see the, the truth. They want to show y'all the child. They don't want y'all to see the grown woman. You know what I'm saying? They don't want y'all to see the grown woman. They want y'all to see a child. They want to put up her pictures when she's 14, 15, 13, and say, oh, look, he was praying on his child. He went at the, I don't go at nobody, okay? I don't go at nobody. And just so that people, don't forget people, this is not my real child at all. I am not her biological father. I've never been her stepdaddy. So don't let them even try to use those two to justify because they just some jealous hating niggas. They just some jealous hating niggas, okay? I don't want y'all seeing this stuff. Because when they want to paint the picture, they're going to try to make it seem as though I'm on some child molesting type stuff. So they not showing you this grown up stuff. That them the games that they play. You know, this on her social media, public, for everybody to see. That's her friend. That's on her friend list. That's on her social media. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um, let's go here. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? All them clowns sitting there doing all that talking and all that jacking. They don't want you to see the grown woman. They're trying to show you a kid. They don't want you to see the grown woman. All these lies. Yeah, okay. Well, let's get to the truth. Let's get to the heart of the matter. And get to the heart of the matter. Don't even trip. I don't trust none of these clowns. None of them. See what I'm saying? They don't want y'all seeing the real truth. They don't sit up here and lie. They do not want y'all seeing the real truth. Because that's too much of proving what I've been saying. That's too much of proving what I've been saying. So they ain't going to let y'all see that. That's too much of proving what I've been saying. And we definitely don't want him to be right. We want to paint this picture of him being this and that. So we definitely... Don't want to show the real deal. Let's find something to, 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 to really come at him on to make him look real bad. That's what they call themselves trying to do. Trying to do. But you can't get around these facts. None of them can. No matter how hard you try, you can't get around these facts. None of them. Yeah, I want y'all seeing the grown up stuff. They showing y'all the kid. They showing y'all child pictures. They don't want y'all to see her as a grown woman. They don't want y'all to see this grown woman when they trying to paint me out to be something I'm not. They don't want they don't want y'all to see. They don't want y'all to see this grown woman who is also a mother. Like the one clown gonna try to say, oh. 
We thought that was your baby. You didn't think that that was my damn baby. You knew damn well that wasn't my baby. Stop with these lies. You're just trying to say that to try to paint the picture. But here's the thing. I'm not going to let you paint it. You're not going you're not going to get away get away with that player. No matter how hard you try. Try always try to make it seem as though these some innocent young girls who don't know what they doing being preyed upon and not pursuing men. You know what I'm saying? Not going to let you play them games with me. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. It's not going to happen. No, no, I'm sorry. I mean, dude, I didn't mean, turn my camera on. I right, share screen. I share the email again. I right, sign. All right, this is March of 2013. This is Battle Truth. Battle Truth says, never knew my kids' worst enemy would be their own mother. I got a 13-year-old daughter. She came to live with me when her mother got arrested. She went to school every day, good grades, had her own room, TV, phone, computer, radio, DVD players, shopping every week. We did Bible study and prayer time. Oh, I bet y'all did some prayer time, Battle Truth. No problems whatsoever. Her mother gets out months later, want to take her back to live with her because she got custody. Not even a month later, your daughter's smoking and she got a boyfriend. Oh, I bet you were so jealous that your daughter got a boyfriend, Battle Truth. I bet that burned your ugly ass up inside, didn't it? Whole ass nigga. She got a boyfriend and she fell in school and she disrespectful and she ran off. I try to talk to her mother about it because she telling me uh, she can't control her. So I'm like, give her back to me. Yeah, give her back to her dad to give her that special treatment, you fuck nigga. So I'm like, give her back to me. I got her. You ain't got to worry about nothing. She like, okay, but never show up. I call back days later, like, what's good? She like, we talked about it. I'm going to just keep her. I wonder what they talked about to make her just keep her battle truth. True enough, a few days later, the same thing. I call, like, bring her to me. You see, she don't give me no problems. Ugh. Yeah. It's best for her. She starts an argument with me, like, run your house your way. I'll run my, my way. Come to find, she moved her lesbian lover in the house, and my daughter is rebellion, rebelling. Now, let me tell you what really upsets me, that battle truth, uh, said that you know how sick it is for a father to try to use the fact that his daughter is being bad just to get her back over to his house and to have sex with her everything i'm saying came from battle truth mouth battle truth admitted that they're sleeping together but his reason that they're sleeping together is because he just met a grown woman we know that that's not true. He didn't meet her as a grown woman. We see her. She's been on his channel and she's had his grandson, Michael, which he was proud of on his channel. We see when she was pregnant with Michael from the evidence shown today that she's been around and she and he calls her his daughter and calls her son his grandson. This man, and this is why I hate Battle Rock fans. Like, I can't stand y'all niggas. I cannot stand y'all niggas. All y'all motherfuckers be making me sick. You will actually go over there and you would debate this man about a motherfucking k or a hollow. You would debate this man that called her motherfucking mom to get her to come stay back over there with him so he could put his dick in his own daughter. I used to always say can't nobody take you off the internet. Can't nobody take you off YouTube. There's only one rule if you a pedo. If you do some sick shit with your children, that's the one thing they'll get you to fuck up out of here. But only in battle rap. You lame ass, no pussy getting fuckboy little niggas. Well, go over there and try to talk battle rap to a nigga like this. Get him the fuck up out of here.
Y'all motherfuckers want to debate so bad. I want to argue. Somebody say this, I'm going to go the opposite way. Shut your lame ass up. Y'all niggas is so sick, you're waiting to see a goddamn video of his dick inside of his daughter. What more proof do you goddamn need? What more proof do you need? A-Dub this pretty money kids. Uh, I mean, that's on A-Dub. That's his problem. You can't be going around here saying the shit he's saying. He got to answer for all he's saying. Fuck that nigga. We talking about this weirdo right now. This man on his Instagram right now, you guys can see four years ago, he has a four-year-old grandson proud holding up the motherfucking picture. Go click on it. Go click on it. And he didn't came out here and told y'all. He didn't know the girl. He told y'all his family hates him. And they're jealous because he gets 1,000 views on a motherfucking video. Prior to people calling him out, this nigga used to get five, ten thousand views. He didn't drop down to 900, 800. He was already out of the battle rock community. He was already cooked anyway. Cooked. Nobody listened to that lame ass nigga. He willing to bury his entire family and make them all look like they crazy so he can keep fucking his daughter. And y'all rocking with the shit. Y'all rocking with the shit. Hold on, I know how these niggas is, man. Let me give y'all the Facebook links so you can see ain't nobody's made up no fake screenshot. The Facebook shit I read came from his real Facebook, just like that Instagram. But the person who sent that sent it to my John Crimes Gmail. So I need to forward it from my John Crimes and forward it back over to my other email that I was just looking at. So hold on. So this, this ain't all of this shit coming from his, all of this shit coming from his own channels. Let me forward that email to my other one. You got a question, people. Still rocking with Oh, damn, Frank, I was about to delete you. I, for, I was about to delete you for me being dyslexic. I thought you said you got a question, people. I'm still rocking with them. I was like, yeah, nigga, you didn't pay money to goddamn leave. My bad, my boy. Now, here's something else I need y'all to understand about Wisconsin law and incest. This is a felony. This man is, in, is, is, is facing some deep shit. He facing a lot of deep shit. And even the little shit I showed you, let me, let me tell you how, let me tell you how much evidence this man family got on him. When I found his Instagram shit today and I went to talking to people behind the scenes, they didn't really care. Cause they got, they're like, okay, that's great for the battle rock community. Maybe the grab, but the battle rock community will finally see how sick this guy is. But for us, nigga, the evidence we got on him, he is way worse. It's way worse than 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 that. They're like, you can, they were like, you can go show that to the battle rock community. It's cool. It'll wake some of they 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 lame asses up. But what we got, what pretty money finna drop? Oh boy, boy, boy. Let me get y'all the motherfucking Facebook links so every blogger can go make their own video of the same shit. You already got the links to the Instagram and the same pictures I show. Here go the links to the Facebook right here. There's three posts in years ago, over almost a decade ago, three separate posts where he's talking about his daughter, Jerrica. Copy link address. Here go link number one. That's not. It's battle truth, real shit. He's just a fucking idiot that don't know how to delete shit after he fucks his daughter. All right, here go link number two. Copy link address. That's all right. And here go link number three. That's all right. Pretty much sitting back like I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it made, what was crazy is my blog ain't nothing compared to what Pretty Money got, man. They got all the links for everything I put. And he's so slow. He, he ain't got a team. 
He ain't got a team to get him out of trouble. His old people turning on him. His own close people turning on him. I made a screenshot from his shit. You could go do the same. So this man raised his oh pretty money. Can I say it? Can I can I say this? Hold on. I'm gonna text you pretty money. Let me ask you, can I say this? Oh, oh, oh do you wanna wait? They don't understand how cooked this nigga is. Can I say this pretty money? Can I say that or do the family want to wait? This man is cooked. About the pigs. Check your inbox for any money. Super sicko. EJ just made a live playing Battle Truth's own voice. His own voice. Is, is EJ live done? I'll play EJ live. I want y'all to hear his own voice and what he's saying. Matter of fact, let's, let's, let's just do this shit. I want y'all to hear what he's saying out of his own voice, man. <laughs> I pretty much said I can say it, so I'm going to say it. There's pictures of Battle Truth with young Jerrica. The girl he said he didn't know. The girl he said he met at a strip club, and she just so happened to be the girl named Jerrica Baker that was named after him 24 years ago. This nigga is cooked. <laughs> EJ is still alive. Okay. So you can go to EJ live and you can hear Battle Truth say that a man is sick, even if it's not. Battle Truth's own word says, even if the man is not the biological father, but he takes the child in as a stepfather. He takes the child in, grooms the child, raises the, the child, then look at her as sexual and, and try to sleep with her. This is his own fucking words. Like people lucky, I got other shit to do in my life. People lucky. Do do you know I could have made a whole documentary on this? I could have John Crimes cooked his ass. I may still do it. At, at, at this point, you you lame. I, I can't fuck with you, bro. Like it. If my Mars, if you see somebody over there on Battle Truth channel, block them over here. Every blogger needs to come out and say that. Angry fan, you need to come out and say that shit. I was talking to Chris and Bias today. Like, everybody needs, like, you got to come forward. Why? This what you want in your community? This what you want in your fucking community? I'm going to say some controversial shit. Battle Truth should not have that many dislikes. He should not be having a lot of dislikes. You know why? Because we already see that he fucking a weirdo that fucked his own daughter and got her pregnant. We don't need to go over there no more. We don't need to go to dislike it. You got to know when to cut shit off. It's ill, nasty, sick, bitch. I'm going over here. That's what time it is now. That's what time it is now. You shouldn't even be over there to dislike his shit. This man has harassed everybody in the Battle Rock community. Every fucking body. Name a blogger he hasn't went at it with. Name me one blogger. This man came at Jay Black when Jay Black mom was fucking dying. When, when she was dead. Jay Black ain't even on this motherfucker. He at the funeral. Going through what a motherfucking guy goes through when his mom dies in Battle True. He's making blogs talking shit. A nasty catfish, big pork chop bone looking ass nigga. Just here. Don't even care to 
Just the shittiest camera, shittiest everything, the bare minimum on everything in life. While he logs off and put his dick in his fucking daughter. Why the fuck are we going over there to dislike the nigga? Yo, I don't know. It's a lot of new niggas in battle rap because I just don't understand why anybody would even want to play with me. I'm not the nigga to play with. So it's a lot of new people. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, cuh. Hold on, cuz. Lame ass niggas, man. Is it, does anyone know if his daughter is away from him or safe now? I have no idea. I heard a rumor that uh, he said that she uh, went to Florida or some shit, which would be great. Uh, but I know that that happened after he was out. It he was out it because his family caught her butt naked in his bed. Where's that lame ass nigga? I'm looking for that lame ass nigga comment. Did you delete it? I wanna find you, nigga. This is how this is how focus I be when I when I when I come at one person. I don't hear nothing else. I ain't even thinking about battle truth. I'm looking for that one whole ass nigga that was in the comment section. I think one of my mods must have got rid of him. I see everything. I'll catch your ass next time. You know, YouTube do a lot of fucked up shit, but the one thing I think that YouTube cool as hell for, YouTube will let a nigga pay me and still let me block him. <laughs> <laughs> That's some cool ass shit, YouTube. What's up, Carly? Yo, none of y'all paid attention to, like, imagine you battle true. Y'all don't know this shit. None of y'all know what's going on, but he know it. His heart got to be beating fast. This man has slammed his sister head on the concrete. His flesh and blood sister, because his sister found out. Battle truth and slammed her ass on the fucking face in real life. He going through all of this shit. And he coming on trying to talk about battle rap. Y'all didn't even pay attention to the, the nigga was making Christian videos uh, last week. Before all of this happened, he was making Christian videos. He knew it. He knew it was coming. Nigga was making Christian videos. How the hell you talk about uh, prep? I'm going to blog about quit some boss. I'm going to blog about prep. And you do all this blog, all of a sudden it's Jesus time. Oh, I bet you it is Jesus time. <laughs> it did this nigga... Then this nigga, like, think, think if you the police, right? And incest is big in Wisconsin. With incest carry over 10 years in prison, right? This shit is big as hell. And this man, everything that incriminates him came from him. Let's look at the menu. This is the menu. That's also being advertised. Just so y'all can know that this is real. This is the menu that's being advertised. There. That's our menu. So you see how people be lying? See what I'm saying? They don't want y'all seeing these truths. They don't want y'all seeing this stuff. You get what I'm saying? Because when they trying to paint me to be something that I'm not, they gonna try to go they hardest. Then the clown going to sit there and try to put up other stuff going to say out of his mouth. Oh, you were 29 years old and she was 16. Not her. Talking about her mother. You were 29 and she was 16. Lying again. Nigga, I showed the document proving 
I was in prison from the age of 26 to 33. But this is how niggas lie all the time. They lie all the time. All these niggas do is lie because they jealous. Then he gonna say, okay, okay, so, okay, she was grown when you were touching her. But you did rape her mother. But you did rape her mother, though. I raped her mother. Right. Well, let's see what her mama had to say about her own self. See what her mama had to say about herself since I raped her mother. Well, let's see what her mother had to say. See how fake these niggas is? Let's see what her mother had to say. That's why I be saying these dudes some straight up bitch niggas, man. Let's see what her mama had to say. Can't take this back. Even if you try to offer her some money to recant her statement. To change her story, it's already out. Can't take it back. It's already out. Can't take it back. Let's listen to what her mother said concerning herself, her lifestyle, how she was living, what she was doing since I raped her. Let's listen. Too many people to even know who her dad is. Uh -oh. So what that man said. Do not the daddy. Hold on, wait. Let's go back. What did you say about yourself, woman? Let people hear it again. I was fucking too many people to even know who her daddy is. Uh -oh. So what that man said, do not the daddy. Wait. Let's play that one more time again. What what was you doing out there? Fucking too many people. Wait, 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 hold on. I was fucking too many people to even know who her daddy is. Uh -oh. So with that being said, do not the daddy. Uh-oh. I like hearing that. Let's go right back again. Because these clowns be trying to always be extra, always add and put their own little spill on things. Let's hear from their own mouth. Say that again. I was fucking too many people to even know who her daddy is. Uh -oh. So with that being said, do not the daddy. Wait, I'm raping her. But according to her, and she proudly speaking, proudly speaking, she didn't seem, she didn't sound shame saying that. She wasn't speaking like she was taken advantage of. She wasn't speaking like she was raped. She proudly saying, I was fucking too many people. Wait, hold on, hold on. What do you mean? Oh, because according to them, I was the one that was doing it. She said, I was fucking too many people. I didn't even know who the daddy was. So of course they're gonna put it on the guy who got the money. And keep in mind, y'all, we're talking about something that happened over 20 something years ago. Over 20 something years ago. We're not talking about right now. Cause these niggas ain't got nothing. They ain't got no damn weight. They go to show you how weak they is. They don't have nothing. So everything they try to throw out, it didn't work. And here she clearly saying, I'm not the daddy. But wait, wait. I don't care what she say. I don't even give a damn what she say. Even though that still backs up what I've been saying. What about what the paperwork say itself? Hmm? 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 Even though we knew, we always knew, you niggas on the internet just didn't know. We who was involved, we always knew. So that's no secret at all, okay? So trying to use that stuff, come on with that. So even saying that, you don't even got no weight. So trying to say, ooh, he effed his daughter. How? Not my daughter. Oh, well, it was his stepdaughter. Never been her stepfather. You hear the mother talking about her promiscuous lifestyle and how she was living. So how was she, my woman, when she clearly said I was effing so many niggas, I didn't know who, who it was. So 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 what what am I doing then? Why she doing all that? Where I'm at, where, where I'm at, what I'm doing. See, you niggas can't get around the facts. You can't get around the truth. You can say what you want to say. 
Again, for everybody who listening, who just tuned in, we still talking about over 20 something years ago that these clowns trying to dig into and try to bring up on me now. Like, no, it still don't work in your favor because it's only saying what I've been saying from day one. What I've been saying from day one. So niggas can try to boost my age up all you want. You still can't even get away with that because you can't change the time I was in prison from the time I got out. So that even hurt you. So nothing you niggas say, that stuff don't stick. That's why it don't work. You a bitch ass nigga, real? I'm just keeping it real. Ain't nothing real about you. That's why you couldn't even spell your name real. You had to talk about studio real. Electronics. Because you an electronic nigga. You a keyboard electronic nigga. Nigga, women don't even deal with look better than who you wife. Women who don't even deal with look better than who you wife. That big fat white ass lady left you. You couldn't even keep your marriage together, nigga. You got kicked out the conscious community for being a fraudulent sucker ass nigga. Trying to sit there and talk that black talk when they find out you was married to a white woman. And got rid of your clown ass. Like, this clown over here trying to talk. Brothers stick together. We got the power and all this stuff. And this nigga caked up with a fat white woman who mistreat this dude and step all over him like a damn carpet. Piss all on him. Call it rain. This disgusting looking nigga. Jealous. Always trying to copy off me. Always trying to stalk me, always trying to get me to say something to him. Nigga, get off my dick. Get a life. Get a life, you jealous nigga. What you jealous? You mad? You a hater? You salty? You gonna just keep running off at the mouth? Hoping I say something to you? And people told me that too, who was in his circle. Like, you know, he be getting mad when you don't mention his name. He be wanting you to mention his name. He gets so mad when you be talking about everybody else and you don't mention his name. He get mad. So this bitch nigga want me to cuss him out so he can feel good about himself. You see how you see how these Decepticons is? You see how these Decepticons is? This dude waiting for me to cuss him out so he can feel good about himself, knowing he been cussed out by Battle Troop. So he could put that in like and watch it like, ooh, he cussing me out. Ooh, that's so funny. He's so look at these gelatin niggas. You can't talk about nobody, nigga. You couldn't even keep your home. You couldn't even keep a fat white woman happy. Put her pictures up. Let the world see how she look. Or should I put them up? Let the world see what you wife, who you call your wife. Who you walked down the aisle with, who you made a vow to, who you swore to. Let them see that. Let them see the type of nigga you is who got low self esteem and got to talk to something that look worse than you because you ain't got the confidence to talk to anything that look better than you. So you want to talk to somebody who can't say, who can't say no because all her life people been telling her no. What you talking about? You sucker nigga. You a sucker nigga. This Chris Unbiased guy, he want to do Chris Unbiased dirty work. He want to be the one to say, I'll take on the challenge, Chris. I'll do it for you. Let me be. Let me tell you what you do. You need to go, go over his house, take a walk to the park with him, find the biggest oak tree you can find in that park, pull down his browsers, and suck his dick up against the tree till he gets splinters in his ass. That's what you need to do. The this the type of nigga you is. Wipe your mouth off, cornball. Wipe your mouth off. Yes, I cuss. Wipe your mouth off, cornball. That's what you need to do. You so much of a dick sucker, this the type of nigga you is. You like, you say you a MA guy. You like watching MA wrestling. Okay, I tell you what. Go find the biggest dude you can spot out, pick a fight with him, wrestle him to the ground, suck his dick till you hit his thigh. And the pointy part, point out the back of your neck. That's the type of nigga you is. You like that? Does that make you feel good about yourself? 
You sucker nigga. That's what you are. You a sucker nigga. You snuffle, elegant looking ass dude. You ugly as hell. You talking about you got these weak ass movies nobody never saw. You can't talk about me because you ain't got nothing that look better than me. You don't look better than me. You ain't got more than I got. You ain't working on more than I'm working on. Your movies weak. Your music weak. Come on, get up out of here, dude. You's a sucker. You a lame. So all that stuff you saying don't mean nothing because it ain't true. It ain't true. So just because you try to use it, it don't change the truth. Do it, nigga. Do it. You want, you hate so bad that paperwork show I'm not her father. You hate that. You do try so hard. All in your video, oh, his daughter, his biological daughter. Now the paperwork proving that's not true. It's, it, it's even hurting you worse. But you such a fake nigga, you can't, you such a fake nigga who pretend to be real, you can't even stand on what you claim to be real. He try to make up excuses and try to front like why he watched me talking about, you know what, I was just going about my thing and I saw something pop up about pretty money, so I decided to click it. No, bitch, nigga, you click on anything I do. You got all my videos. Every time I drop one, your thirsty ass right there to get it. We, we, we know who you is. We ain't forgot who you is. We ain't forgot who you is. You sucker nigga. You a weak, pathetic, miserable nigga. Your life was messed up. You couldn't even keep your family. Nigga, you, you, you divorced. A fat white woman divorced you. Shame on you, nigga. You can't even keep a fat white woman happy. How hard is it to cook? How hard is it to keep her fed? You can't use that on me. I ain't never been married. I always been a street type of dude. Not to say there's something wrong with that. Not to say there's something wrong with that. And women don't leave me. Let's get that straight. Women don't leave me. I leave. I walk out of relationships. Women don't leave me. What are you talking about? And all my baby mamas in their 40s, just like me. Just like me, nigga. So all that stuff you talking about don't mean nothing. You ain't saying nothing. You dumbass, nigga. You a sucker. You a sucker. Your mama know you a loser. She wanted to, she wanted to chop it off soon you were born and came out. She knew it. This nigga ain't going to be shit. Doc, cut it off. Cut it off. Cut his cock off. He gonna be a sucker. Who don't know that? Get up out of here, dog. You a lame. Sitting there doing all this talking. You internet nigga. You ain't know nothing. Stop trying to seek my attention, bitch nigga. Do something with your life. Get your family back together. Try winning your wife back. Do that, nigga. Sitting up here trying to reach out to me. Sitting up here trying to get my attention. Bitch, live your life, nigga. I get so tired of these square ass lame niggas, just jealous niggas. All this because you want a subscriber? All this because you want some views? Nigga, be talented. You don't do nothing better than me. You're not even smarter than me. You a weak ass nigga, man. You let a white woman change your religion? You a sucker. Yeah, this dude a sucker nigga. That white woman was an atheist and made him start going against God. He became an atheist. He's a sucker. Hell, I need to speak to a nigga like you, folk. You ain't even got the you ain't even got the wisdom to even acknowledge that God is real. You so-called super intellectual. Nigga, you wasn't even smart enough to keep your family together. What the hell I'm gonna speak to you for? You can't even manage your own, nigga. Who you talking to? You're talking to the wrong person. This what people be wanting me to do. They don't care about nothing you niggas say out of y'all mouth. They be wanting me to do this to you niggas. I ain't finna be entertaining all you clowns in the damn soul train line seeing which one of y'all I'm gonna be the one to address. Get off my dick. Get a life. These thirsty ass niggas. Dang, get a life. Sucker nigga. Jealous. Jealous because I look better than you. 
jealous because things more easier for me than it is for you? What you jealous of? Damn, get a life, nigga. I don't talk about you. I don't look at you. I don't see you. And he always try to extra exaggerate things. Because you ain't got nothing to stand on, sucker. You ain't got nothing to stand on. You niggas mad. You niggas mad that that proof came out backing up what I said. What you niggas mad for? What you jealous of? Jealous niggas? They want it so bad for them results to be positive so that they can have more to talk about to bring shame to me. Oh, Mr. Incest. Oh, Mr. Come on, man. Shut the hell up. I can't stand these bitch niggas, man. I, I, I'm just keeping it real. That's what these dudes is. And what's crazy is these dudes will continue to Throw darts until you do something to them. Like, that's what's crazy about these niggas, man. They got an obsession problem. Like, these niggas literally obsessed. And they liars and deceiving, conniving, con artists. But your game weak. Your game weak. Hell, what are you talking about? Trying to just keep on feeding off my name. Trying to keep on being, try to, dude, shut up, man. Sucker nigga. Talk to you, folks. Nigga, you divorced. You divorced. That lady walked out on you, miserable ass nigga. But you were fronting in front of these cameras, acting like your life was so good. But behind the scenes, you were going through hell. You were being spit on, cheated on, walked on, disrespected. You lonely nigga. Don't cut the internet on trying to have company with me. You lonely nigga. Find somebody else to be company with. Hell, don't nobody even like being around you, nigga. You got to pay for your friends. You got to pay for attention. Don't nobody like being around you, nigga. You sucker, nigga. Look at the company you keep. Unbiased is this nigga best friend. They all hugged up with each other. They all sitting there doing videos and clips of each other. You know this nigga a raper, man. You won't even open your mouth. It's real paperwork out on this nigga. That's how much of a bitch nigga you is. You a bitch nigga. You sitting in front of this camera trying to talk real thing and try to put jackets on me. But the nigga who you know that's charged with this stuff, look his name up right now. He charged with it. He got a plea deal he trying to work out with Shannon. And he on the way to trial with Kiara. You know this for a fact. And you sitting there trying to act as though you don't even acknowledge it. But trying to put something on me that's not even there. Nigga, what are you talking about? That's how much of a bitch nigga you is. Your mama know you a bitch nigga. Your daddy know you a bitch nigga. That's the type of nigga you is. You a fraud to the heart. Nigga, if you was real and you was about this, then you would stand on it regardless to who it is. Bitch nigga, you ain't once addressed unbiased. You saw the paperwork. You watch me all the time. Even if you ignored it, you didn't even demand the paperwork from him to even want to see it. Bitch nigga, but you look all into my past. You look all into my social media, thinking of anything you can dig up on me to use to your advantage to try to think you can expose me. Bitch nigga, you keep failing. You keep failing. There's a reason why. But the nigga you comfortable with literally got three rapes on him on three different women that your bitch ass ain't said nothing about. Don't even bother to bring up. And you make up excuses for him to let me know, bitch nigga, you just like him. I wouldn't be surprised if you was in a passenger seat. I wouldn't be surprised if you ain't found somewhere in that paperwork with him. Ain't that a bitch nigga, y'all? This man sitting on here trying to act like he real, speaking like he's some type of advocate and justice for women and victims. But he cool with the nigga that actually is charged with three different rapes on three different black women he have yet to address. But trying to address me on it. Trying to say I'm a rapist. Why it ain't on my jacket? Why it ain't on no paperwork? 
Why ain't never been arrested? Why ain't never been questioned, fingerprinted, any of that? Bitch nigga, why your best friend got it on his jacket? Why your best friend charged with all this? Bitch nigga, why you ain't say nothing? Why you ain't speaking? Before you can speak up on me, speak to the nigga you eating with. Speak to the nigga you drinking with. Speak to the nigga you letting your home, bitch nigga, around your daughter who actually got it. You can't say that about me, nigga. You mad that all you tried failed. You mad. You wanted the girl to try to say I was molesting her when she was a child. And what she say, that's not true. So y'all try to use another angle. All you niggas just try to do, fail after fail after failure after failure. Playing A, B, C, D on your John John the Don shit, all the above. You a bitch A, you a bitch B, you a bitch C, you a bitch D, all the above. Your relatives know it. What are you talking about? Do this make you happy? Is you happy? Internet nigga, soft ass nigga. Dude, get on my nerves, man. I can't stand these dudes. Just sitting here whining and crying and the moment you ain't got nothing to do. Oh, let me do a battle truth blog. The moment you played out and your shit going low. Oh, let me, let, let me speak on him. Let me find something else to lie about. This how you expose that bitch nigga. Why was you kicked out of the conscience community? Talk, nigga. Speak it. Why that fat white woman leave your sorry ass? Speak, nigga. How you lose your family, nigga? And don't ever say I left mine. Don't ever say that. Don't ever say I lost mine. That's a lie. Hell. I only went with one woman and went to prison at the age of 20. 26. Everything that incriminates him came from his, this man that went and made like nine, ten blogs. The sickest shit is inside of him. Everything came from his own mouth. Even the old shit we finding out now. <laughs> this nigga cares so much about an online community. And if somebody said some real shit to me today, they were like, yo, this nigga need this shit. He need it. Like, the only money coming in is that he taking care of his aunt in that shitty house. He taking care of his aunt and he got his daughter was living there, butt ass naked in his bed. His family came over to check and found the shit out. So if they find out that he's not a reputable caretaker for his aunt, then that money gonna stop coming in for him. The only other money he got from Battle Rap, uh, which his account is under Jose name he not paying the taxes on it. He going to get Jose locked up. Truth owe forty thousand dollars to the government, so he can't do his own. Man, man, I can. I know some boy. Y'all don't understand how much I be knowing, bro. I... I'm not the one. Yeah, I didn't. Let me tell you how, let me tell you how childish he is. Battle Truth is, is, is closer to 50. Old ass man, right? When these allegations came out about him, he said, I'm going to cover Summer Madness, the, the big event this weekend, so he can try to get views, which he should not get views if you guys were rational, sane people because you know not to go and give a fuck about who won a battle from a sick motherfucker like him. He should have no views on it, right? But what did he say he gonna do after that? This is a grown ass 48 year old man said, everybody who made a video about me, I'm going to roast them. We gonna have fun over here. I'm gonna show them I'm the best blogger cause I'm going to roast. You gonna roast nigga, you in trouble for roasting your daughter ass. You gonna roast. What the fuck world we live in? Who? Roast? Roast. Don't nobody give a fuck about no roast. Like, 
nigga, that's just like that. That's just, that's just like a pedophile in prison who sentenced to a hundred years because he molested fucking ten girls, and he say, "I'm a roast y'all this weekend." Nigga, don't mind give a fuck about you. You a pedo. This is his mentality. Something wrong with this nigga. Something wrong with the wires ain't hooked up right in his mouth or his motherfucking brain. Something wrong with this nigga. You gonna roast? EJ, you gonna have to rewind this back, man. I already showed the shit, man. Yo, it was funny. When I hit up EJ today, I was like, what's up? He was like, bro, I'm about to go live. I'm about to drop some shit. Oh, you about to drop some shit? Nigga, I just found out something today. I'm about to drop some shit. There's so much shit coming out, I didn't even know. Battle polite. <laughs> he thought SM11 was going to take the heat off of him. I just dropped a... EJ just dropped a major bombshell about his psychology. EJ just lets you know the mind of a man. I just let you know facts over here. I just dropped the facts. If you combine what EJ did with what I just did today, back to back, it still ain't nothing compared to what Pretty Money got coming. It still ain't nothing compared to what Pretty Money got coming. This nigga is cooked, finished. He said he gonna roast somebody. Man, you know when he said that, what I started to do? I started to say, I dare you to say my motherfucking name, nigga. I'm going to make you cry like I used to three years ago. I dare you to say my motherfucking name. I end your shit. And I was going to wait for him to say my name. Then I was going to drop this goddamn paperwork I got right here. I was, I was going to fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't take no L's. But I'm not going to play with this nigga. And the reason I'm not going to play with him is because a child is involved. Matter of fact, not one child, but two. Because everybody keeps forgetting about his son. Do you know the psychological damage he did when he sat his son down last week and told his son that he fucking his sister? When he made his son throw up? Do you know the psychological damage he did to that kid? One dick, two kids. Fucked him up. One dick, two kids. I wish that nigga would say my motherfucking say my name, nigga. You got your little new ass friends that they came around in three years. They didn't know the nigga you was afraid of. I'm daddy, nigga. Man hurt his own son. What's up, Chris? Chris, I'm back in the A, bro. I can't be back in the A. You what I you gotta hit me up, my boy. Let these little niggas run around here thinking you some goddamn clown. I ought to take my motherfucking videos off private and let them see how you used to beg me to leave you alone, you fuck nigga. Battle Truth can't leave his house. He has a phobia. You don't have to worry about uh, Battle Truth fighting nobody. You don't have to worry about that. He has a phobia. He's never going to fight anybody. Why can't I go down on my comments, yo? He's not going to fight nobody. He can't. Uh, and and this, is a, this is his family. His family confirming this shit. Like, he has a phobia. Y'all didn't see that movie where that white lady uh, was scared to leave her house. She went to the front door. She passed out on the ground. But that's why Battle Truth don't go to events or nothing. He's scared to leave his house. Nigga, nigga shit in his road when the police come lock his ass up. <laughs> don't take me out the front door. <laughs> no. Shit running all down his leg. Ha, <laughs> ha,
as a father that burns me to my core. That that's what I'm saying. Like I didn't know the third screenshot I showed y'all when I was, I was watching EJ shit. I knew I knew I had two bombshells I was gonna drop on a nigga anyway. But then when I saw the third one, when it showed why his daughter was staying with him, imagine now now for the women out here, this for the women. It's for the women. Imagine you send your child off, your child bad. I can't I can't control her. She being bad. You send your child to live with her father and he gets her pregnant. You see your daughter to go stay with her father and he gets her pregnant. Remember his cellmate said he wouldn't leave the cell. Yep. He take meditation for it. Something wrong with the dude. But I'm saying for all the little young niggas following him, like son, what the fuck wrong with them? And if he don't mess and he fucked up like that, why the government let him take care of his aunt? <laughs> Why the government let this man take care of his aunt when <laughs> when he the one who should be eating baby food? <laughs> Battle Troopers, the only nigga that go live and turn it off and eat baby food <laughs> with his thumb. Cause he always be home. Why hasn't this dude been arrested yet? Because he groomed her, so she's not giving up her DNA. So the family got to find another way to get her DNA. And if not, they're going to wait till the baby born to get the baby DNA and show that it's incest. That nigga's still in her applesauce. He's still in his, he's still in his grandson, who is his, also his stepson, Micah. He's still in his shit. Nigga, grandson and stepson at the same time. This is the world we living in. And niggas got the audacity to go over there and ask this nigga who they who who he felt warm between motherfucking surf and John John the fucking done. What the, what y'all niggas sick, bro? Like I be too busy, but I just be want to find out every I want to be on some Jay and Silent Bob shit. Just find every nigga in the comment section that be on that weirdo shit and just show up and beat the hell out of them. Everybody got something going on in real life, but I bet nobody got their own child pregnant. Exactly. Like, that's what I was saying. Like, my family don't like me. This man, like, this is the gaslighting weak shit they do to people who not smart. And uh, A.W. be doing this shit, too. They'll say some shit that sound cool, but it ain't cool. Nigga be like, come on, y'all. We all got family who, who you know, try to fuck with us. Like, yeah, we do. But that don't mean that they gonna automatically go to the level to say that you got your own daughter pregnant, nigga. I don't get along with my family. They ain't gonna never say no weirdo shit like this. The family I don't get along with will beat your motherfucking ass if you try to say some shit like that about me. And they don't even like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm my uncle daddy on this nigga, man. And then here's the thing, like he uses the word family as if they are a beehive. They're one collective unit. These are people who don't all even talk to each other. The only they got something in common that don't fuck with battle truth. Like his family, he like used the one word that was coming at him about it. His son went on their side. His son was on his side. Battle truth son was taken up for battle truth on everything until battle truth told his son out his own mouth. I'm fucking your sister. Only she not your sister. I just lied to you your whole life and made you believe she your sister, which contradicts the story that he told us. He told us that he met her when she was a stripper and she was already grown. His words, not mine. That contradicts what he told his son. So while he's saying his family hating on him, what he got to say about his son? His son hating on him too? His son who liked him? His son who when pretty money was going against battle truth? Uh, a couple years ago, his son was taken up for Battle Truth. The only reason Battle Truth's son don't like him, only fucking reason one, is because he fucked his sister. That's it. He put his dick in his sister, and his son said, I'm out. 
So they use the word family as one collective unit and put everybody into one bunch and then convince you that the one bunch is crazy. But I told y'all, idiots like that ADEP guy and Battle Truth, them, they don't like specific details. Fuck the family unit. Break them down and look at each individual person that don't like them. Son don't like him because he sat his son down and told him. Battle Truth's sister don't like him because she walked in and saw her niece butt ass naked in her brother's fucking bed. They don't like details. What's his Instagram? Here's his Instagram. Hold on. Damn, I didn't delete that motherfucker, but um, I can go to my history. I mean, it's going to be one of the fucking channels. I, I just, I think it, we go to my history. Oh, got it right here. Love you and look, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this nigga ain't got no help. If he had help, they'd be like, yo, John cooking you, John. John cooking you, you gotta delete that off your Instagram. You gotta delete that, but he ain't got no friends to tell him this no more. So <laughs> his shit's still up. <laughs> Here's his Instagram, y'all. Shout out to my man, bro, hit me up, send me your mask. I got you, Chris. Uh, I'm going to hit you up on Facebook and send you my, uh, my phone number, my boy. That's his Instagram. Click on his Instagram. He ain't got that many pictures. He's like one, two, three, four, five. Six. The sixth photo was taken in, on December of 2017 when his grandson, Micah, was still inside his daughter's stomach. And you see Battle Truth captioning from his own shit, I'm about to be a grandfather again. Cooked. Hooked, filleted, and he worried about the battle rap community. But that's the same information police that would arrest you in the state of Wisconsin would use if they want to file you under the charges of incest. That's the shit that they need. He worried about the wrong people. <laughs> about to be <being> Uncle Daddy. <laughs> The bloggers are talking behind the scenes. I guess they, they wanted, uh, maybe they wanted some, some shit like this, what I'm showing now. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact, I ain't gonna call nobody out. I know for a fact that a couple of big ass bloggers in battle rap that's happy as hell. <laughs> There's some motherfucking battle rap bloggers that are doing cartwheels and breakdancing and moonwalking down the street. There's some big ass bloggers that's watching this right now, that's watching everything we do. <laughs> I'm telling you now, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know me. I pride myself on keeping secrets. I don't out nobody's shit. You know, I let, I what, you know, if people come talk to me in private, then I keep that shit private. I ain't gonna out them. I'm just saying the shit's been funny to me behind the scenes. Shit been funny to me behind the scenes, bro. Yeah, it's Christmas for No Mercy. Yeah, shout out to my boy, No Mercy, man. Shout out to my boy, No Mercy, for the victory in the fight. Some little weak bitch ass nigga ran up on him and fold him down. And little bitch ass nigga asking to get up. Shout out to No Mercy for the victory. Shout out to No Mercy for coming up on Twitch. Shout out to No Mercy for upgrading his camera and his equipment. And shout out to No Mercy for applying that pressure to Battle Truth and all these lame ass niggas. Yeah, I'm, I look, this is what I'm going to do. When the battle rap blogger decides to go live and talk about this shit, then I tell y'all what we said. But I ain't, I ain't going to do the shit before they do it. It just been funny as hell. <laughs> Put it like this. Every time some new information has come out uh, about this sick dude fucking his daughter, there has been conversation behind the scenes with a lot of people. And this is how the phone conversations all start. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Cooked. Cook the nigga cook now. You gonna boy? You gonna love this shit. Cook for real. He cooked junk. The nigga is cook duh. Cook 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 duh. All right, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. Let me go in another room, my nigga. I gotta hear this shit, nigga. 
That that's how all the conversations start before we even go live about. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, Sheila? <laughs> I ain't gonna throw no hammer in law if they if they go live about it. So Lewis said you always thought BT was a weird or were you surprised when you first heard this? Pretty money is here. Pretty money will tell you he couldn't finish the sentence. I said this on my last pretty money said, check this out. Battle true got a daughter, right? Now check it out. Now battle true daughter pregnant. I said he fucked her. He fucked it. He fucked his own daughter, didn't he? Ask pretty money. I cut him off. So I don't, uh, yeah, that's, he a weird, he a weirdo, slow, mouthy. He weird. I, yeah, it didn't, it didn't shock me at all. Eight registered emails, including some with female names. That's some weirdo. But that, that's him. I cut, I, I cut pretty money off. He, he fought his daughter. He did it. Um, oh, this thing. All right, man. I hate to be a bro, but I ain't got no choice but to be a bro with y'all, bro. Um, because I want to smoke my um. Placencia. I always mess that name. My Placencia cigar. You know what I'm saying? This is a really, really nice premium cigar. And uh, that's what I want to do before I go to work tomorrow. I gave y'all the evidence. I showed y'all where y'all can find it. I gave you the links to the Facebook. You can go see all the shit real. You see, he been mentioning his daughter name, who he said he didn't know. He said he didn't raise. He been mentioning his name, her name on his platform since 2013 on his Facebook. Her name, Jerrica Baker. But he claimed he know her. You can go to his fucking instagram and see him be proud of his grandson coming out of his daughter's stomach before he put his penis inside of it or whatever so i gave y'all this updated information and know uh the bombshell pretty money got is even more damaging so it's just gonna keep coming y'all hold it down man um and it's been real Now, what are you talking about, nigga? Hell, get up out of here. Bitch, nigga, you was married. You bought a ring. You bought a tuxedo. You walked down the aisle to a big fat white <laughs> woman. Somebody who couldn't say no to your ugly ass. What happened? You couldn't even keep that. You can't even manage a home, but you got so much. You got money. That wasn't enough to keep her happy. According to you. You a bitch, nigga, dog. It's all in your genes. Any nigga around you can smell it. That's what's wrong with these dudes. Nigga, I don't even know you. Stop trying to act like you know me. Stop trying to get to know me. Because one thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to let you try to get to know me. I'm just going to burn your bitch ass up like I did this time. It's going to stick with you for the next year. Going into the next year. Ain't nothing you can say or do going to be worse than what I'm doing to you right now. You know that? Because everybody now see you as the bitch nigga you are. You sitting up here acting like you so real. Yeah, look at this fraud. Look at this fraud, people. He a bitch nigga. Now niggas need to ask, why haven't you addressed unbiased situation yet? And go ahead. Look how much of a bitch nigga he is. He gonna duck it. He gonna ignore it. And he gonna make up some type of excuse for it. But guess what? I'm ready for you to do that too because I'm gonna release that paperwork. Showing, showing that your bitch ass know about it. And you still sweeping it under the rug. So you don't stand for shit. You a fake, fraudulent, weak ass nigga. You don't stand for nothing. Your skeleton is gelatin. Your skeleton is gelatin. You a dick sucker. You want to suck that man dick. Ask him. Just ask him then. 
If you ain't done it already, ask them. Look at these niggas, dude. These dudes, lame. Ask them. I think you should ask them. I think you should ask them. I think you should ask them. Yeah, y'all, that's what's wrong with that nigga. Look how, look how jealous he is. See, he mad? He mad. He mad. Come on, man. You can't even, you can't even show a pretty girl you ever been with. You can't even show not one pretty girl you ever been with. Hell, my baby mama, who I ain't even been with in a, I ain't went with that girl in over 20 years. She looked better than who you just got through wifing. Like you sound crazy, man. Go to show your self-esteem weak as hell, boy. You you weak as hell, man. Get a life. I already know why you so miserable. I see how you look grown. If you this damn ugly grown as you is, I can imagine how your baby pictures look. I can imagine how you look when you was a child. You definitely had a hard life. You ugly now in your fucking 40s. You ugly in your 40s, your 30s, your 20s. That face get tighter and tighter the younger you get, which makes you uglier and uglier. So as a child, you was even worse than that. You wasn't too far from a damn monkey. You wasn't too far from orangutan. You look exactly like the Snuffleupagus on Sesame Street. You look like Gonzo without the snout. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like to you. That's why, that's why your channel dead. That's why you, that's why you've been here for so long and can't grow. Your face ain't camera, uh, uh, camera friendly. You put that damn face on YouTube, nigga. Swear they watching the National Geographic. Nobody want to see that. Nobody want to hear nothing you got to say. You a soft, weak, jealous ass nigga. What's sad about you, fake nigga? Why you trying to come at me? You already on record saying how much you like me. Well, I, I enjoy watching Battle True. Oh, I like what he do. Shut your dumb ass up. Get up off my dick, dude. Get a life. Get up off of it. Damn. You so thirsty? You want my attention this bad? You just so thirsty. None of your stuff work. It's failed. Sorry. Sorry, lying about everything, just twisting up everything, lying, trying to get noticed, trying to find anybody who want to let you on. You don't know nothing about me, nigga. Obsessed, sorry, jealous ass dude. Damn, you still jealous? You still obsessed? I thought you was having, I thought you was having things. I thought you was having things. I thought you were doing your own thing. Ain't got nothing. Shut the hell up. Your weak ass music and them weak ass movies. Where the clip to the movies at? Where the clip to the movies at? Where can we find these movies? I want to see them weak ass movies. Get up out of here and that weak music. Your music trash. Your music trash as hell. Wouldn't even make it to a ringtone. Wouldn't even make it to a damn answering machine. I'd rather listen to elevator music. Hell out of here, man. Wrap your lips around somebody dick, because that's what you want to do anyway. He definitely a rapper. He want to wrap his mouth around anybody dick he can. Go clip and edit that. Go clip and edit that. I hope I keep you working for the next year. Go clip and edit that. Damn, you thirsty ass nigga, dude. Thirsty as hell. Grown ass man, 40 some years old, thirsty. Nigga, get your wife back. Go get your wife back, you lost. You weak ass nigga. They already bullied you, bullied you out of the conscious community. You can't show your face back over there. Everybody know you a bitch nigga. It's all type of videos out on you. Videos out on you with white boys playing the drums. Your face by they cocks. Yeah, they got videos of this dude. That, and that's a fact. Don't have me bring it up. You can twist my stuff, edit it out, try to lie, but you can't get around the facts and, and proof. I could bring facts and proof out on everything I'm saying, like I've been doing from day one. 
He a clown. Lost your damn marriage. Ah, uh -huh, that's what you get. Because you a sucker nigga. Then he had to tell the truth. Oh, I was going through a lot. I was going, I was having a bad time. I was going through a divorce. Right. You a bitch nigga. Once your woman recognize you a bitch nigga, she don't want to be around you. Like, I don't want to be around this bitch nigga. Bad enough, I accepted him just because of what was in his pocketbook. Any a bitch nigga like, man, I ain't going to stay around this dude. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone than be around this bad breath, ugly ass dude. Cut all across his damn head, face hanging out like Kimbo Slice. Man, get a damn life. I should roast the hell out this clown. This what people want. This type of stuff. But I ain't finna let you nigga keep, I ain't finna let you nigga keep knocking me off my square. But I'm not, what I'm not gonna let you do is continue to sit here and lie and paint these pictures, nigga. You a bitch nigga. Now, how you like that? You feel better about yourself? Now you got a 40 minute blog all about you. Are you happy? You feel good about yourself now? Man, you do be wanting me to light you dudes up. Like, man, stop it. I'm happy with my life. I can't talk about, I can't speak about yours, but I'm definitely happy with mine. I'm definitely happy with mine. You ain't nothing but a snitch. Everybody in the end, look, for people who don't know who they do, that, everybody know he a snitch. He a real snitch that tell on people, call the police on people. He have done that before already. Snitched, called the police on people, kicked out the conscious community. You a fraud all the way around the board. All the way around the board. You even know you a bitch nigga. You couldn't even spell your name and use the real word real. You had to use the fake word real because you know it's not in you. And this real talk for you. This real talk for your ass that you can't get around. And this light work. This light work, I ain't even really locked in and just let you have it. But I'm not, because I know your bitch ass love that. That's what you want. That's what you want. I ain't finna go back and forth with you. And listen, people, I'm not finna go back and forth with him. So if y'all expecting for me and him to have this blog and fall out, I'm not gonna give it to the bitch nigga. I'm just proving a fraud of fate like he is and every time he lie and exaggerate, y'all need to be shutting that bitch nigga down and say, hey, before you open up your mouth trying to speak on truth, you need to address the nigga that's next to you. You bitch nigga so fake, it ain't even funny. And I can't stand these fake ass bloggers. Y'all always got so much to say, but you can't even keep it real and keep the same energy. I don't care about dude, man. Hell, you don't exist in my life. Nigga, you got to wake up thinking about me every day. I don't think about you. And the moment I'm done with this, the next day, I ain't thinking about you. Can you say the same? Hell no. I don't watch you. I don't watch you for real. You lie about saying you don't watch me. We already know you do. You ain't changed from the four years you was here last time taking and stealing all my stuff, downloading all my videos. You been a damn cop. You ain't changed. You ain't went nowhere. You always want my attention. Tell me, this bitch nigga, go out of his way for my attention. Well, if I continue to go deeper and deeper and lie, like, man, shut up, man. Shut your, shut your whole ass up, man. Get a life. Bitch nigga ain't never did no dirt in his life. Ain't never did no dirt in his life. And these niggas always get on this internet, try to act like they're about that life. Niggas ain't never did dirt in that life. But you want to come on here like you about that life. You a worm, dog. That's why your damn wife left you, bitch nigga. Now, you lost your wife. You lost your wife. How you feel about that? I'm single, nigga. I'm single. Hell, you don't know who I'm with. Yeah, and one thing we do know, you lost your wife. You lost your wife. Nigga can't even keep a fat white woman proud, happy. Show looks pathetic. Dude, get up out of here. Shouldn't open. You ain't got the leg to talk about nobody. This is what I want you to do. I want you to walk to the corner, go to your nearest 
fire hydrant. Stick your head right up under where the water come out of. Suck the fire hydrant dick. Yeah, yeah. Suck the fire hydrant dick till the red of it is around your lip as though you got on makeup. Do that. You know what? I give you one better. I want you to, you like traveling. I want you to buy a, a, a plane ticket, fly to Egypt, climb the pyramid, put your mouth on the point of it, suck the pyramid's dick to some type of gold coin fall out of it. Do that. Because you like putting your mouth on stuff. And you a cocksucker. You know what I want you to do? I want you to... <laughs> I want you to go on a trip to Africa. Pick out a rhino. Suck the horn of his dick. Suck the rhino dick till it cuts you. Till it cuts you somewhere in the back of your skull. Since you like sucking stuff. Yeah. Because that's all you are. You a cocksucker. So... We gonna give you something to suck. Since you such a cocksucker, we gonna give you something to suck. You know what I want you to do? I want you to find a tomb. Go to the graveyard, dig up a dead body, open his casket, remove the worms and maggots from his private part. Suck that empty space where his dick used to be and just imagine you doing it in real life. Do that. Could you do that? We gonna, we gonna give this cocksucker something to suck since he likes sucking something. <laughs> I want you to buy some scuba there, jump into the ocean, suck a shark's dick, fight off his mouth from biting you, wrestle him with them MMA skills you got, suck under his dick where the white part is. <laughs> Suck the shark's dick. <laughs> Cause that's what these dudes is. These dudes dick suckers. So let's give them something to suck. Let's let give them something to suck. <laughs> you know what I want you to do? I want you to find a spider web somewhere in your house or basement, somewhere outside your house. Put an ant on it so he can come out of his hole. Grab him, put him up against your face, suck the spider's dick till he web, till, till you suck him so good he web you around. He, he, he use his web to web you around to compress the suction of your mouth up against him. Since, since, since you like sucking stuff, we're going to give you something to suck. Hell. <laughs> That's what he want. He want to suck something. Why the hell you think he went unbiased? He he comfortable with a real known charged raper man. So you definitely want something from him. The Bible say how can two walk together, least they be in agreement. How can two walk together, least they be in agreement. All that knowledge he got. All that intelligence he got. He know the hell he beside. He laughing and giggling. He's so comfortable with him. I wonder why. You sucking his dick. Suck the rape off his dick. Taste every last one of his victims and call them by name. You on your little Nas X stuff. Call them by name. Suck the rape off his dick. Since you want to suck something. That's what these dudes is. I want you to <laughs> I want you to go over Tay Rock's house, ring his doorbell. When he come out, wrestle him. Wrestle him with all your might. Pull down his trousers, suck his leg, suck his damn leg till you know the damn shoe he wearing. Suck it. <laughs> on your degeneration X stuff. Suck it, suck it, suck it. That's what he want to do. That's what he want to do. You happy now? Did that make you feel better? You feel good about yourself? You happy now? You gonna cry? You gonna whine? Hell, what's wrong with these dudes? <laughs> what's wrong with these dudes? <laughs> Can't stand these dudes, man. These dudes some straight up females. They're attracted to this type of stuff. That's what he want. Damn, you jealous nigga, you mad. Guess what? The kid is 
the mama child. You said I am the one, but the kid, my child. No, can't dress it up. They hate it. They hate this paperwork. They hate it. They hate these clips and videos that's up. You can't change it. You can't take it away. You failed again. Sorry, you failed again. So even when you say it, it has no power to a real nigga. Only them clowns and sucker people gonna vouch for it. It has no weight for a real nigga who know the truth. How about that? How about that? So dress it up any way you want. Try to paint it as pretty as you want. The facts remain the proof and the truth that you can't get around. That's what you're mad about. That's what you're mad about. You couldn't get nobody to agree with you. So go ahead and play your circus. But remember this. I'm the ringleader man. Whoa, oh, oh, the ringleader man. This is my circus. I'm working. I can flip this whole game with one man. The ringleader man. It's exactly what I am. You jealous nigga? Remember, y'all, just so y'all can know. I'm not gonna go back and forth with this clown. I just like rubbing it in their faces. I like exposing these niggas. They so-called think they can expose me. I can't tell. You continue to fail. You continue to fail. So none of that stuff you did work. Sorry, I'm way smarter than that. Come on, man. I don't trust none of these people. None of them at all. So you lost, you failed, and it is what it is. So stop trying to talk about a child and a baby because we showed the real grown woman. We showed the real grown woman, the professional real grown woman that y'all didn't want people to see, but you didn't want people to see. Get up out of here. Who again, so let me just clear this up so y'all can know this, because people got selective hearing. So again, here's the paperwork proving what I've been saying all along, what I said, what the mother said, and what her daughter said, that I'm not the father. I never was the father. I didn't raise her, so I didn't groom her also. See that? You see that? I also never molested the girl. I never molested the girl. I never raped the girl in no type of way whatsoever. They are mad. They are jealous. And I never even pursued the girl. I don't pursue women. Women pursue me. I, I'm sorry you ain't got it like that. I got it like that. I'm sorry you don't have it like that. I don't pursue women. Okay, women pursue me. So if I've been with any woman, listen, I want y'all to hear this clear. If I've been with any woman, she pursued me. She came at me. She wanted me. And that's why we may do it at my house. Never her house, my house. To show that they come to me. I don't come to them. They come to me. And I ain't got no problem with recording. I, 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 I love recording. Because I ain't finna have nobody trying to lie on me, set me up, accuse me of nothing. So I record with knowledge. I don't secretly record nobody. I let it be known out the gate. Look, you with it or not? Because look, I know I got a lot to lose. OK, I got a lot to lose. So I ain't going to play these games. What IQ say, and just in case you want to call rape, we got on tape. Huh? So I'm protected all the way around the board because I know how grimy and dirty and shifty people can be. Hell, I got videos. I should release one. Y'all want to see a sex tape for me? Y'all want to see a sex tape of me? I'm going to release one. 
I should. I'm going to release one. Hell, I don't play them games. They ain't finna set me up. Ain't nothing wrong with, hey, we involved with each other. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, I advise it. Hey, bring, look, add some excitement to your love life. Hell, I'd rather watch my own movie than somebody else. I'm on my alcohol stuff. You know how I many? How many of you, bro, hey, brothers like that? Don't we brothers? Don't we? Re <laughs> yeah, we like that. I, 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 and I get down, so I love to see how I look on camera. I get down, so I love how I look on camera. I ain't got nothing to hide. I love how I look on camera, and I'm working with something, so I don't care. That being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. Ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. So these niggas can lie all they want. They can't get around the truth. They can't get around the truth. So you failed again, and now you got a roasting session that's gonna last for the next year. Now, try hard as you can to come back. Whatever you do, it ain't gonna be better than this. Do a seven, eight, 10 hour video, I don't give a damn. This right here was a classic and dedication to you, and this was light work.